Let all Christ's church assembled here and gathered in his name keep solemn joyful festival and sing Elijah's fame of all the prophets who foretold God's hidden plan of grace he is the chief, and unto him we give the foremost place. The prophet heard the voice of God, not in the quake or fire, but in the coolness of the breeze, God spoke his heart's desire. Once fed by raven in the wild, he served the Lord in mind. Preventing rain from falling down, call fire from heaven's fight. By grace he raised the widow's son, rebuked the royal wrongs. His deeds and words for ages since have been the theme of songs. When earthly tasks for him were done, you called him from his life. A fiery chariot came for him, releasing him from strife. When earthly tasks for him were done, you called him from this life. A fiery chariot came for him, releasing him from strife. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For peace from the high, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our holy father Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the Venerable Presbyterate, the Deaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For fearful weather, for an abundance of the fruits on the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servant of God, Albert, and for his blessed memory, and that his every transgression, voluntary and involuntary, be forgiven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he may stand and condemned before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, and that his soul be committed to the place of light and life, where all the saints and just repose, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious of all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, 
look with compassion on us and, and on this holy church, our master, and show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is your glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, who being in mortal, deigned for our salvation to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Wisdom be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. You have destroyed death by your cross. You opened paradise to the thief. The sorrow of the mirth bearers you turned to joy. You commanded your apostles to proclaim, Christ our God, you have risen, granting great mercy to the world. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. No longer can the might of death rule over us. Christ descended, destroying and crushing its power. Hades remain in chain. The prophets rejoice together. The Savior has appeared, saying to those in darkness, 
Come forth, faithful to the resurrection. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive, peace be to all, wisdom be attentive. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless, will bless his people with peace. Bring to the Lord, you sons of God, bring to the Lord glory and honor. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless, will bless his people with peace. Wisdom. A reading from the first epistle of St. Paul the Apostle. To the Corinthians, let us be attentive. Brethren, I beg you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to agree in what you say. Let there be no factions, rather be united in mind and judgment. I have been informed, my brethren, by certain members of Chloe's household that you are quarreling among yourselves. This is what I mean. One of you will say, I belong to Paul, another I belong to Apollos, still another Cephas has my allegiance, and the fourth I belong to Christ. Has Christ then been divided into parts? Was it Paul who was crucified for you? Was it in Paul's name that you were baptized? Thank God I baptized none of you except Crispus and Gaius. So there are none who can say that you are baptized in my name. Oh, and I have baptized the household of Stephanus. Beyond that, I am not aware of having baptized anyone else. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Not with wordy wisdom, however, lest the cross of Christ be rendered void of its meaning. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attended. Alleluia. 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 It is good. 
give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. Alleluia. 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 To proclaim your mercy in the morning and your faithfulness throughout the night. Alleluia. 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 Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you. smooth with pity, and he cured their sick. As evening drew on, his disciples came to him with the suggestion, this is a desert, desert, deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds, so that they may go to the villages and buy some food for themselves. Jesus says to them, there is no need for them to dis disper disperse. Give them something to eat yourselves. They replied, we have nothing here but five loaves and a couple of fish. Bring them here, Jesus said. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. He took the five loaves and two fish, looked up to heaven, blessed, and broke them, and gave the loaves to the, to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the people. All those present ate their fill. The fragments remaining when gathered up filled twelve baskets. Those who ate were about five thousand, not counting women and children. Immediately afterward, while dismissing the crowds, Jesus insisted that his disciples get into the boat and precede him to the other side of the lake. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava na veki. Good morning, dear brothers morning, and sisters in Christ. The multiplication of flows is a memory of the manna and prophetic sign of the Eucharist. In today's Gospel reading, we meet Christ who teaches a large number of people in a desert place. The circumstances uh, described by the evangelist Matthew indicate that the Savior reveals himself as a new Moses who leads Israel in the desert from slavery to freedom. The Lord seems to be reminding people that they are not abundant sheep without a shepherd, not uh, fatherless wandering around their homeland as if in a desert. They are God's children, inheritors of the covenant between God and his people. 
the union that their parents once made with God in the desert near Mount Sinai, as it is written. Know that the Lord your God is, is the true God. God is faithful, who keeps the covenant and grace for a thousand generations for those who love and keep his commandments. Today, the breaking the bread in the desert and multiplying it to uh, satisfy the hunger of 5,000 people, our Savior not only reminds his apostles about the heavenly bread, that is manna, which once fed the Old Testament people of God in the desert. He announces the conclusion of a new covenant between God and all mankind. A covenant that will be sealed, confirmed, established in His blood by the sacrifice of the cross. So this multiplied bread is a prophetic sign of the bread which is the body of Christ. Mysteriously present here for us in the Holy Eucharist. This bread disturbed, disturbed in the memory of His death and resurrection. Nourishes and sustains us who are His mystical body, His holy church. Every time, at every liturgy, when the priest takes uh, the body of Christ, he says the following words. Broken and distributed is the lamp of God, broken yet not, not divided, ever eating yet never consumed, but satisfying those who partake thereof. The experience, we experience the same breaking of bread and the same moment of uh, presentation of the power of the Word of God and His grace at every divine liturgy because Christ comes to break and bless us on the throne to break the bread and turn it, to, it into His body and the wine into His blood. And then through the hands of the priest, we, he wants to feed all of you. He wants to feed all of us so that no one gets tired on the way. So that no one gets tired on the way to the kingdom. So that no one gets tired on the way to eternity. In the desert, Christ teaches His disciples and all people that where God is, nothing will ever be lacking. If in your life we seek the source of all goodness, God's presence and His power, then even in the midst, midst, midst of the desert, of the earthly journey, the Lord will give us so much food that we will collect many baskets. And it will be much more than what we need. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God. According to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have 
mercy. Have mercy. Again we pray for our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We also pray for our grandfathers and grandmothers that they may be a source of wisdom for our families and that they may pass on the treasure of faith to their grandchildren and future generation. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We also pray that no elderly person may be discarded or abandoned any longer so that there may be consolation of the lonely and healing for the sick, that we may know how to offer them our love and appreciation. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and mercy. For those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Albert, and that his every transgression voluntary and involuntary be forgiven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God commit his soul to the place where the just repose. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the mercy of God, for the kingdom of heaven, and for the remission of his sins, let us beseech Christ, <clears throat> the immortal King and our God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> God of spirit, sent to all flesh and trample death, and broke the power of the devil, and granted life to your world. Now grant rest, O Lord, to the soul of your departed servant. Unburned in a place of light, joy and peace, where there is no pain, sorrow, no mourning, as a good and loving God, for your sin committed by him in war did or so. <clears throat> Since there is no one who lives and does not sin, you alone are without sin, your justice. Is it no justice in your word is true? For you, o Christ our God, for the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant. Albert, and we give glory to you with your eternal Father, and your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let
us love one another that with one mind we may profess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, Son of God, God the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came you down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy and offering peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion, for your God ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of no existence into being and again raised us up when we had fallen and left nothing and done until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all that we know and that we do not know, <clears throat> for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this letter you which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, throwing aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud and sing the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory, O Son in thy years. Blessed is he who comes in the name of 
of the Lord, O Son in the highest. We also pray all with this blessed power, so loving and kind Master and say, Holy are you and the Holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and the holy and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf on the night he was betrayed, or rather, when he surrendered himself for the life of the world. He took breath into his holy and all pure and immaculate hand gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. And the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering therefore this saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection of the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, pray to you, our Sacrifice and we implore, pray and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this gift lying before us, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ, and that which in this chalice the precious blood of your Christ, Amen. changing them by your Holy Spirit. That for those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and the confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer the spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly proper to glorify you, O Theotokos, the ever-blessed, immaculate, and the Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, who a virgin gave birth to God the Word. You truly the Theotokos we magnify. Among the first the Lord, remember our Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt. Preserve them for the Holy Churches in peace, Save with the honor and health for many years, that they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, O Lord, the city in which we dwell and every city and community and the faithful living in them. Remember, O Lord, those who travel by sea, air and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor, and upon all of us send down your mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart 
we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them in his holy heavenly and the mystical altars and aroma of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for the peace in the whole world. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian, painless and ashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you, O Master, who love us all, we commit our whole life and hope and we implore, pray and with you. Make us worthy to, to partake with the clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation, and make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For sign is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Son and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you. things and the greatness of your mercy have brought all things out of my existence into wing look down from heaven a master upon those who bow their heads to you for they do not bow to flesh and blood but to the awesome God therefore a master makes move for the good of all the path that lies ahead according to the need of each sail with those who sail travel with those who travel cure those who are sick of physician of souls and body through the grace the mercies and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. One is holy, one.
That you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. The just man will be remembered forever. Evil news he will not fear. Evil news he will not fear. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. Praise him in the highest. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let all Christ's church assembled here and gathered in his name. Keep solemn, joyful festival and sing Elijah's fame. Of all the prophets who foretold God's hidden plan of grace, he is the chief, and unto him we give him foremost place. The prophet heard the voice of God, not in the Quaker fire, but in the coolness of the breeze, God spoke his heart's desire. Once fed by raven in the wild, he served the Lord in might, preventing rain from falling down, called fire from heaven's height. By grace he raised the widow's son, rebuked the royal wrongs, his deeds and words for ages since have been the theme of songs. Of all the Elijah prophet of your name, we praise you evermore. 
A fiery chariot came from him, releasing him from strife. For all the graces you have given through what he did for you. Your church on earth gives endless praise and honors as is due. Elijah, prophet of your name, we praise you evermore. O Father, Son, and Spirit, bless the God whom we adore. Elijah, prophet of your name, we praise you evermore. O Father, Son, and Spirit, bless the God whom we adore. And seeing throngs who sought him out, Christ's heart was moved. He then healed the sick and suffering thus his care he proved. Jesus, bread of life, food fed each hungry soul in need. Show us all your love, be our food indeed. As evening came, they told the Lord, send them away, so that they might eat, said Jesus, give them who today, Jesus, bread of life, feed each hungry soul in need. Show us all your love, be our food in need. Indignantly they showed the meager food they possessed. Jesus took the bread and fish and bid the crowds to rest. Jesus, bread of life, feed each hungry soul in need. Show us all your love be our food in need. Christ raised his eyes and blessed his God, then broke the bread, serving all the loaves and fishes, let them all be fed. Jesus, bread of life, feed each hungry soul in need. Show us all your love, be our food in need. Let faction cease, be one in mind, in Jesus' name. We preach one gospel and one Lord, one cross o'er the same. Jesus, bread of life, feed each hungry soul in need. Show us all your love, be our food indeed. Jesus, bread of life, feed each hungry soul in need. Show us all your love, be our food in need. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. 
We have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided Trinity. For the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory. For you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Arise, now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life creating, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We thank you, Master, Benefactor of our souls, who love us all, that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries, through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and of all your saints, make straight our path, confirm us all in fear of you, guard our life, and safeguard our steps. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who are the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from well coming down from you, the Father of lights, and we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and, and forever. forever. Blessed be the name of Lord. the Lord, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace and loving kindness, always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, Petronice of this holy church and of the Holy Glorious and the illustrious apostles of our Holy Father John, Christos, the Bishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good, and He loves us all. Amen. In blessed repose grant the Lord, the eternal rest, dear departed servant, Albert, Albert, and remember him forever. Eternal memory, eternal memory, blessed.
blessed repose, eternal memory, Vichnaya Pamya, Vichnaya Pamya, Blajnei Pokoi, Vichnaya Yemu, Glory be Brothers forever. and sisters in Christ, now we will have an anointing of the occasion of the holy day of uh, prophet, uh, of big prophet uh, Elijah. We had that uh, holy day this, uh, the last week. Uh, and also who would like to, um, uh, who, want to who want me to bless uh, his car, can wait me in the lobby, he, he, that people, they can wait, wait for me in the vestibule or outside. Uh, today I would like to congratulate all uh, our grandparents uh, and we prayed for them uh, during the liturgy um, and also to all these people, to all our parishioners here present and I would like to, I want to wish you a good and blessed day and blessed week. May God bless everyone, may God bless all our families, all our parishioners and may God grant each of us many, many blessed years. God grant them many years. God grant us many years. God grant us many blessed years. In health and happiness, in health and happiness, God grant us many blessed 